it later but first let us come to install so we have here two things our script and our service here our service so a script we usually place in user bin so this is bin dir this is by default uh, a variable given by bitpick so bin dir is user bin first we install the user bin and then we install the or we copy the this is script in user bin where do we put our systemd service to put systemd service there are possibly two places the first place is this systemd unit dir so systemd unit dir is actually lib systemd and the other is sys const dir which is etc so if we are putting in sys const dir we need to put further in systemd and then inside system and if you are using this systemd unit dir so it already con it already contains systemd so here we need to put it in uh, this uh, systemd unit dir slash system so the whole path will the whole path here is the here the whole path is etc systemd systems system and here is lib systemd system then we have installed both now here we tell the recipe that this is our service file this is our service file that we are using we can also put the multiple services by giving the space and this is the syntax that we use systemd service then colon and then the package name variable and then by default it is already enabled by default any recipe if we write any service it is already enabled but we have written here explicitly that systemd auto enable and the recipe the service will be enabled what is what does it mean that this uh, recipe will be enabled it means that whenever the system starts the service will run automatically so it means that whenever we start uh, our system this uh, sysd.sh will start running automatically we don't need to start it by default so what else we can do is we can also put here disable instead of enable so if you put it disable it will not be started automatically and we need to start it manually so now this is the basic recipe that contains systemd service and now let us build the image so it is bit big core image full command line so let us build the image so as you can see that the image has been built successfully without any error now let me set up the beagleman black and we can test our services so now we are inside beagleman black now there are some basic commands that i want to share first of all is systemctl status so these the systemctl is used to uh, handle the system these services or to manipulate or to start or stop and the syntax is systemctl then the thing that you want to do for example status start stop and then the name of the service it doesn't matter if the service is inside this uh, lib folder or etc etc folder it doesn't matter it should be but inside any of them lib or etc so our is in etc so let us check this first so we will go uh, cd etc system d system so here ls so here you can see that we have our system d service so this is one thing now let's go back to our root and now we will check systemd systemctl status systemctl status and the name of the recipe is sysd that we have we don't need to write dot service you can write but it is already understood that this is dot service file so let us press the enter and now here you can see that it is actively printing hello world hello world hello world and that is what our 
recipe is doing after every second furthermore you can see that this is active and running it means that it is still running and the service is enabled what does it mean that by default we have put it here enabled this here is uh, in the DB example we did here enable so it is enabled so this is the first thing uh, now what can what can we do is first of all let us stop the service we'll do system D stop system now let us check the status once more so now here you can see this that it is now inactive or dead previously it was active now it is inactive or dead but still it is enabled what does it mean that if we restart the system it will again start to run this is the stop and now let us do start and we started and now let's check the status once more see now again it is running and it also tells it since three seconds ago but still it is enabled uh, we can just restart it also we'll do restart and it will restart the service and this time should be change we'll restart now let us check the service again but again says that started two seconds ago it means that the service was restarted now let us do the disable uh, disable the service with disabled it is disabling the service so the service is disabled now let us check the status once again so here you can see that now it is disabled but the present is enabled it means that the service is still running even though we have disabled it if we restart the system it will be disabled by default now but what we should do if we don't want to restart what we should do is we should reload the daemon so we will do system ctl daemon reload so daemon are those services that are running on the background and by automatically and uh, we haven't uh, we haven't uh, we, 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 we don't see the output on the terminal but uh, it's doing something at the background so we reload it takes some time so now reload now let us check the status once again so yeah this is reloaded it is disabled but if I restart now it will be it will be not running and it will be disabled so let me restart it and then I will be back so I have restarted the system now let us check the status once again so as you can see that this time the service is disabled and it is also inactive it means that by default it is disabled and it will not run on boot so this is all about system D uh, services uh, recipe and how to integrate system D service uh, in Yocto I hope you like the video please like and subscribe my channel and uh, I will see you in the next video thanks for watching